go. I present to you the Zen Matrix. Ladies and gentlemen, this Zen Matrix just came in the mail and I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. Let's go ahead and see, as you can see, it's still sealed. Let's go ahead and open it. All right, so in this little package you get, here we go. You get, <laughs> the zoom, dude, it's so tiny. Look at it. Such a little tiny device. Let's go ahead and take it out real quick. Get the Zim. You get the USB port, which is uh, USB C to a USB A, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. Let's just put the box on the side real quick. All right. So let's take out the little Zim. <laughs> Here you go, man. Look at this little baby. Dude. So you have the, I believe that's the, the two, which would be the keyboard input. Got the Zim top of you, dude. Look at this. This thing is tiny, but it looks it looks actually pretty flashy. I like the way it looks, man. So far, so good. I'm excited to use this, man. You have the back part, which is the USB-C connection. You have the Ethernet port, and you have the controller aspect part. And this one is, of course, for your mouse. Just uh, one little dot. Now, dude, it looks, it looks very flashy. I like how it is. Look at this back part. Ooh, this is pretty cool. You know, one thing I'm seeing, I, mm, this, you see this right here? I wish it had little rubber so I can, like little grips, that way it won't move on the ground. Cause you know, it just slides. But, oh well, I mean, it's pretty cool still. But dude, let's go ahead and try this in Matrix, man. I'm excited to get this going in game and see how it performs. Have high hopes. I have high hopes, man. Let's go. Hey, what is up, guys? This is George Taker Joes, and today I want to show you how to be able to get the best Zim Matrix settings that there is right now for Warzone 2. Unlike the Zim Apex, dude, this one is a little bit more complicated and really don't know why, but it is. So if you click the top three buttons on the right, go to Global Settings, you'll see here Custom Navigate uh, Navigation Mode. Here, you're going to have to do this first before you continue any further. You're going to do this, and you're going to set your navigation keys, whichever keybinds you want to put. But it has to be those two that you're never really utilizing, or a combination that you really don't use until now. So you're going to go ahead and click that, and once that's done, you're set to go. Then from navigate mode, you'll be able to click those two and go directly into just the regular mode. Now... One thing that I notice is that if you click where it says uh, where the green button is, you'll see her console connectivity or console connection, and you have the other one as well. Me, since I'm on PC, this is for the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or PC. This is the one you're going to click and make sure that from standard, you're going to go all the way to 1000 if your mouse supports that. So go ahead and do that. Now that that's done, make sure you go ahead and click Force Game Downloads. All right. Let's All right. How far is this? Now click the top three buttons on the right again. Go to New Config, and type in Warzone. You'll see here Call of Duty Warzone and Call of Duty Warzone Two. You can click Warzone. Choose the console of your choice. At this point, from what I've known and experienced so far, it still doesn't matter which one you use. As far as like, I mean, if you're on PC, use PC. If you're on Xbox, Xbox, PlayStation, PlayStation, doesn't really matter. Sensitivity is going to work exactly the same. I'm on PC, so I'll go ahead and click PC. Since I already have this, I'm just going to go back. Okay, so now that I'm here, you're going to click the pencil icon. Click the little three dots. And right here, you're going to see uh, load hockey. You, this is something that you can be able to do if you want to. But at the very bottom, you'll see aiming sources. I'm going to max out my DPI. And my max DPI is 30,000. Okay. So personally, put it, I'm putting mine at 30,000 because that's the max DPI that I get on my mouse. So if your mouse reaches 30,000, go ahead and put it 30. 
and if it's at 26 uh, i think it's a uh, two 25,600 i know most mouses do that as well some go all the way up to 20,000 and some go less just put it at the max that your mouse is now with that being said you're probably more likely going to need a dpi converter i'll show you that i'll tell you what i mean later but for right now let's go ahead and continue so as far as my mouse goes i've noticed that smoothing on focus has been the best one so far and believe me i the reason this one is test 30 is because i've tried so many times given each one so many times so many chances see which one works and so far this one has been the best so far so mouse sensitivity is going to be at 36.5 smoothing is going to be a focus mechanics that's going to be a default leave it at normal now when we go to aim down sights sensitivity is going to be 24.8 smoothing focused as well now the yx ratio i'll put this at 125 i leave the rest at normal activation it's going to be normal this one might just come out checked at the very beginning so if it's checked go ahead and uncheck it that way you can be able to open this up right here so as we said there 0.25 now when we go go down to the mapping this specific mapping that i did here this is for me this is what i've done on my setting so far so we're going to go all the way down to simulate analog behavior behavior simulation by default this should be at 15. I put mine at 5 and put the aim stick at 50. So far, 50 has still been a good one because I'm able to enter in and out of the aim assist a lot better. It, it still is sticky, like most people like. Um, but you're still able to get out of the aim assist bubble pretty good. Now, if you want to go even lower, I would suggest go 35 because this provides even a better freedom when it comes down to getting in and out of that aim assist bubble. Don't go all the way down. Don't, don't go at zero value. It's not going to be good. Right now, if you want what I have, which is sticky settings, go ahead and go with 50. But if you're a person that wants a little bit less stickiness and more freedom, go 35. All right. Game rules, that's going to be a default. I mean, the roles, that's going to be a default. Input modifier, default. Groups, just leave it the way it is. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is my Zim Apex settings. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a in the description, more likely. No, not the description, the comment section. Just go to your computer or put your phone on desktop mode and copy it from the from, from there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to go ahead and make a parachute configuration. Now, unlike the Zim Apex, you can do it with you can just do it in the same configuration with uh with an auxiliary unfortunately you can't do that at this very moment with the zip matrix with the zip matrix you have to make a whole separate configuration you have to add a hotkey in order to activate that configuration while in game and then switch back once you're not using it the downside of this is that you're forced to have your screen on all the time if you're doing it from your phone your screen cannot go off because if it goes off if you, even if you click that button it's not going to register so make sure your phone is on at all times when you're using this configuration, unfortunately, at this current time. So let's go ahead and make it. First, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the original settings that you have. Click the pencil icon, three, uh, three little dots down, down below, and you're going to copy. Once you do that, you're going to go into the three dots on the right, new config, and type in Warzone. This is where that new configuration is going to come in. So we're going to go ahead and click it, PC, mouse and keyboard. Or if you're on console, just choose the console that, that, that pertains this one to the console. All right, so there we go. Now that this one's done, this is the newest one. So we're going to click the pencil icon, go down here, and we're going to paste the entire config. Now rename this one something else. So this is my like third test that I've done on this. So, I mean, 30th test. So I'm just going to call it turn 30. All right, hotkey that I want is going to be the one that I'm going to register to the next one that I'm about to show you. So this was going to be hotkey number two. Now, here on mouse, you're going to move this. You're actually going to, going to change this. Put this at 600. Leave them the ADS as is because you're not going to move that one at all. Scroll all the way down. And here, 
we're going to make a new configuration. So click that same key, the one that you press as a hotkey. For me, it's two. For me, it's two. All right. So now that you see two is registered on top, click the little arrow and make sure you press where it says press. Now it's going to register that you're going to press it. As long as you press it, it's going to switch to that configuration. If you press it again, it's going to go back to a normal one. All right. Go down to smart actions. Scroll down. Click the three little buttons. Load config. And in this case, my main config is a 30. So in order to find out which one that is, you have to go back. So before we do that, let's go ahead and register this one. All right, we're going to swap configs. All right, since we're going to swap configs, I wanted to go to my main one, which would be the very first one. So in this case, this one's a configuration two. So when I click this button, I wanted to go, I wanted to go back to one. So now that it's register there it's gonna go back to one every time i click it so we're just gonna save now that that's saved go back and check it out i'm gonna press the button and it should go back to the regular settings there you go it turned back to the main one which is test two i'm mean, test 30. so now on this one i'm gonna have to go to the very bottom and i'm gonna have to do the exact same thing click the little plus sign go that same hotkey that you're using Go to smart actions, open up the little tab at the bottom, and you want this one to go to config number two. All right, exit, save, and then you, you do it again. Now remember, on the main screen on this one, your hotkey has to be the exact same one that you clicked in order for it to go back to the other one. So now when I click the hotkey again, it's going to go to the parachuting sensitivity. This is the regular one, parachuting sensitivity. I know this is a lot more complicated than what it should be, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And that's how it's going to be for right now. So yeah, that's a, it's a little sad. You have to do a lot more steps than what you would on the Zim Apex. The Zim Apex has the auxiliary. So all you have to do is just click that hotkey and immediately does it. And this one, you have to do a whole separate configuration, just bump up the sensitivity. And it's basically the same thing, but unfortunately, if your phone does turn off, you're forced to turn it back on. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, so before we continue, let me just share with you the final values of the DPIs. So if you're a person that's not using 30,000 DPIs and your mouse only goes up to uh, 25,600, your, your current values for your aim is going to be... 42.73 now for your ads it's going to be 29.06 and this is for 25,600 dpi now if your mouse goes to only up to 20,000 then that means your your new sensitivity would be 54.75 for the hip now when it comes down to the aim your new aiming sensitivity will be 37.2 now, if your mouse only goes up to 16,000, then your values will be 68.43. Now on the aim, 46.5. All right, now if you're one of the few that has a mouse that goes only up to 12,000 DPI, then that means your new values for your hip would be 91.25. And for your aim down sights, it would be 62 flat. All right, so now that we're in game, Make sure your settings here are set exactly the way Zim has it. So horizontal all the way up, vertical all the way up, multiplier, leave it at default under advance, but aim assist at default. Don't put it at black ops because you're not on an actual controller. So it's not going to work exactly the same. It should be. So don't put black ops, put defaults here. I had mine on instant, but I switched it back to gradual the way uh, Zim recommended it, and it works perfectly, perfectly fine. Now, under the dead zones, make sure this is a 10, 10, 1, and 1. Everything else, leave it at default. And that's it. You should be good. That is it for the best Zim settings that there is right now on the Zim Matrix. I know it's a lot more complicated, unfortunately, but it is what it is for now. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Definitely drop a like if this did work for you. And yeah.
It took me a long time to be able to get these settings, so please drop that like. God bless you guys. Take care. Adios.